And hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. So today we're going to be checking out the checkbox. Now, basically, what is a checkbox? A checkbox is basically giving you an option to choose something. If you click, if you check it, then you're choosing it. If you don't check it, then you're not choosing it. Not to be confused with a radio button. Because there's too many cases where these two are conf getting confused by. Now, the difference between a radio button and a checkbox is a radio button, let's say you have two radio buttons. Only one of those buttons can be checked. With a checkbox, if you have more than one checkbox, then more than one checkbox can be checked. But with a radio button, only one can be checked. But we'll get to more to radio buttons later. So here I have my checkbox, you can go get it here in the tool panel by, pre, uh, by um, searching for checkbox. This is not really generally a good practice to use checkboxes, but we'll get to the better version of it later. Before you also do that, let's make this contract. That's a contract. And then the name should be the name for a checkbox would be C B X or C M B. But I go C B X just because checkbox just feels better. And then contract. Alright. So now we have everything not really working, but we're getting there. So let's see here. What do we have? We have bit button one which is close. You don't have to code there. Beat and calculate. Now this is basically what's going to happen here inside the panel. First, you have the cost per SMS in cents. So it says 30 cents. And then you have the number of SMSs. Let's say they went ahead and sent 10 SMSs. Then it would be 300 cents on the end of the day. But if they choose and the output will be here and I'll be allowed it's here you just can't see it but it's there but anyways then if they click on contract if they check it then basically they the first 20 SMSs are free not really the best math question you can get but it's in the book you can go read it up this is just to get you into intro you might do another video on this Okay, now let's begin. We get to calculate. Maybe add a few variables. Then I price becomes edt cost dot text. But this is an integer, so this isn't going to work very well. So it should be str to int. Now that will give you an integer. Now to make it safe so that they don't like um, add strings into it when they shouldn't, we can go here and there's a checkbox, checkbox as you can see, right around here that says numbers only. Just set that to true. So now they can't put letters in there. And that's what we want. Alright, so now we've set the price, then inum sms becomes edt cost dot text. Oh, edt cost, excuse me, sed num sms dot value. Alright, now let's just give a set value here for in case they decide to try and um, do something, they just click and not actually look at it. Um, it's just Good practice to try to do that. You can also force it to have at least a value, but we're not going to do that. So let's go to text, and in text we just add a zero. Or let, let's go for practice. We make it 30, 30 cents. All right. Then we get to calculate. Now we can go if CBX contract dot checked now this sees if the user checked the contract checkbox and it will 
return true if it does. So if if this is checked, then we're going to go. So first thing we can do, we, we have too many ways of doing this. So my suggestion is we go inum SMSs and we minus it by 20. But that might be problematic because then the price might go into the minus. So then wait, let's go if inum SMS is more than 10. Begin. So if it's more than 10, then it goes inum SMS minus 10 for inum SMS becomes inum SMS minus 10. So basically, it will just minus it. Else, inum SMS becomes zero. So if it's less than 10 and this is checked, so they have the contract that might wait, it's minus by 20, right? Oh, excuse me. So if it's more than 20, then on um gets minus by 20. Else it just becomes zero because then they have nothing to pay because they are in a contract. Alright. Then we can go I price oh wait. Um LBL output dot text I mean dot caption becomes and then we can just go here the book says we should say total cost equals and a rand sign all that okay so maybe we should just add a real here so our final price or total price whatever you want okay then we can go our final price becomes inum sms times I price. So now they will give us the amount. But this isn't really what I want. So let's put this in brackets. We don't want it to return that. We want then to divide. Wait, sorry. Take that and then divide it by 60. Because we want it in rands or in dollars or whatever you want. So we divide it by 60, which will give us rand. So total price equals, and then we can actually go format float because I believe that would be better. Format float, and then we have r 0, 0.00, comma, and then our final price. Now let's just check here and see if we have everything the way we need. So if it's checked, then if the SMS is more than 20, that happens, else it becomes zero. If this happens, then the whole thing just becomes zero, which might become problematic because you can't divide. You, zero can't be divided by 60 because you can't divide with a zero. So that might become a little bit of a problem. So we can do this. All right, and then here we can go our final price becomes zero and then this will be the output but the output shouldn't be there if you want to be honest because this is an if statement we should probably put something outside of this if statement should we not put that there and then else if it is not checked else then our final price becomes and we can actually just copy this there we won't have to worry about this that it might be zero as long as their number of SMSs are not zero 
which it should not be because you know anyways so I believe this looks alright fine let's run it and see if you find any errors or anything like that let's get a new label label you replace it and you go total so we don't get the same error again price equals and basically it will just be replaced later with a number so then we can go just to the name lbl price then okay Oops, sorry about that uh, lbl price yes all right run it okay so now let's make it 100 again we calculated it. it's 50 rand is that right i have no idea uh, let's get a calculator out here all right so then it is 30 times 100 that's 3000 okay yeah divided by 60 that's 50 yeah okay it's 50 rand just making sure all right now if we get the first 23 then we it's only 40 rand that seems about right yeah 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 that is right okay so it's 40 rand so this works so if it's checked then it's 40 rand if it's not checked then you don't get the first 23 now since we made sure if you do put two there and go like that it's going to be zero because they're getting it for free and without it it's going to be one rand basically that's how checkbox works so to just confirm with you guys if cbx contract or check that returns true which means you can put it in a boolean for example b flag becomes cbx checkbox of checked and it will work because it's a boolean it returns a boolean true or false you can also if you don't still don't quite understand you can go here and you go to check here as you can see it's false and if you check it it's true and it becomes checked here as well all right so that can help you thank you all for watching see you all in the next video and i really hope this helped you guys today goodbye